12 months ago, Leitrim put Galway out of the championship and this afternoon they were not only hoping to repeat that dose but also to claim a place in the Connacht final. Well, there wasn't much to lift the spirits in a very low scoring first half. It's a point apiece from Freeze as we join Marty Marzi 10 minutes before half time. Oh, terrible ball. Seamus Quinn. And again, the target is Colin McGlenn. Knocked away this time by Gary Fahey. But it comes, however, to Aidan Rooney. He has support from Georgie Dugdale. Point opportunity, and there it is. Georgie Dugdale puts Leitrim in front after 25 minutes of play, but easily, by far and away, the best move of the match. In fact, the only move of the match in this Connacht Championship semi-final. Good point by Georgie. Noel Moran does. And again, Colin McGlynn is the target. Pushing there by John Fallon. It's a free for Lee Trump. Paul Kieran taking the free. This time he gets very well underneath it and he puts it over the bar. Three points for Lee Trump. And the home support are happy so far. He really has played well at fullback for Galway in this opening 33 minutes. Nice bit of skill from Kevin Walsh. And then a, not a poor kick, but a fine snide Finnegan. And Mark McHugh again finding it easy. No more. Damien Mitchell. To Kevin Walsh to Jeff Allen. This time, it's sailing over the bar. And Jack Fallon has scored two points out of Galway's total. Well, here at halftime, we've had a light shower of rain, and hopefully that rain may wash away all the apathy and the poor play, and we might have a better 35 minutes in this second half. All right, Kenny, knocking it away. John Fallon coming in to gather it. Again, there's nobody really readily available. No Kevin Walsh. The for the half. Down to Tomas Mannion. Meeting Pat Dunahoe. Ja Fallon. Ball skidding along the greasy surface. Noel Morton kindly gives it back to Michael Donlan. It's not a bad ball at all to Fergal O'Neill. Giving it out to Niall Finnegan. There's another man available over the far side. There's a chance here. A goal for Galway. Conor McGowan. And what a brilliant start for Galway. This was a great move by Galway. Now we've had two moves in this match. We have something to talk about. But this was a peach of a goal. Well, that goal by Galway may just inspire Leitrim, or indeed inspire Galway, to produce some degree of good football. And an exciting 34 minutes. This is Aidan Rooney. Pat Dunahoe wasn't quite expecting it there. He puts it in, and that's a great point by Pat Dunahoe. Well, they must have heard our criticism at halftime. They must have done something at least, because now we've got two scores in the space of a minute. Pat Dunahoe wasn't quite expecting this pass. He was given the time to compose himself and then lobbed this in over Galway captain Mark McNamara's crossbar. It's as, as you were, really. One point between the sides, only Galway now have the advantage. Damien Mitchell. A good ball knocked away from down to Michael Donlan and Donlan puts it over the bar. I think we will have a good second half after all. So, three scores in the space of two minutes more than what we've had almost in the whole 35 minutes of the first half. Michael Donlan taking his point well here. This is Conor McGowan knocked away from Declan Darcy. He loses possession as Fergal O'Neill that has it. 
making a good angle for himself, and Martin McHugh was there. And here come Leitrim once more. Decides against the hand pass, now uses it. Pat Dunahoo sending it up to Colin McGlynn. Plenty of Galway backs there, one of them is Damian Mitchell. Switching it over towards Fergal O'Neill. Referee allowing the advantage. Kevin Walsh. Fergal Gavin. Back to Kevin Walsh. A point attempt and Martin McHugh. These two options available this side is Fergal Reynolds. To Pat Dunahoe. And again, the tactic is long and simple towards Colin McGlenn. And he wins possession. This is Georgie Dugdale. On to Pauri Kenny. Chance here, and Mark McNamara did well. Manages to get it out for us, John Fallon. Kevin Walsh and Mickey Quinn. Good play by Mickey Quinn. Gets it for us, Georgie Dugdale. Crowd now getting behind Leitrim and the home side have got another point thanks to Georgie Dugdale. That's two points from play to this man from Mohill. And Leitrim now come within one point of Galway thanks to this effort by Georgie Dugdale. And he had to work very hard to swing that one over. And the crowd now definitely getting behind the, their team. Referee allowing the advantage. He didn't really use it. Jerry Flanagan. Ja Fallon challenging. And Pori Kenny under pressure has to lash it in towards Aidan Rooney. And Pori Kenny was fouled as he was kicking that across to Aidan Rooney. So it is a free for Leitrim. Aidan Rooney, who scored the winning point against Galway last year to level the match. Yes, he's done it. And the biggest roar in Carrigan Shannon greets the white flag, which levels the match, thanks to Aidan Rooney from Glencar Manor Hamilton. So Leitrim have responded to that early second half goal by Galway. And now they've got a little bit of fire in their bellies, perhaps. From Osmanian. Going forward. Bit by a fair shoulder from Georgie Dugdale. He has to rely on Sean Dupuyer to get him out of trouble. That's going to be a line ball for Leitrim. In fact, the linesman has given a line ball to Galway. Obviously, we're not a Leitrim man. This is Jeff Fallon. Gone inside is Niall Finnegan. Conor McGowan has gone to his right. Seamus Quinn challenges, but Seamus Quinn fouls. And that's a free for Galway. And an easy one it should be to put them back in front. Niall Finnegan had Conor McGowan to the right, but he went left instead. And it could easily have been a goal. Fergal O'Neill puts Galway back in front after 13 minutes now of the second half. Galway now introduce Sean Conlon from Barna and going off is Fergal Gavin. Number 21, Sean Conlon has to face number 11, Fergal Gavin on the Galway team. Noel Morton, and that's a line ball. Break falls kindly for John Fallon. And that's a foul. And the referee gives the decision to Leitrim. And now Leitrim are about to introduce Barney Breen in an effort to try and open up this Galway defence. So Barney Breen is in for Leitrim. And the man that's coming off is uh, Colin McGlynn. That's a good shot and a good point. 
Paul Kieran the scorer. Two points for Paul Kieran in this match. And once more, Galway and Leitrim are level. Kevin Walsh unable to hold on to it. And for pulling there by Georgie Dugdale, it's a free for Galway. Damian Mitchell getting plenty of distance and height. Knocked down by Conor McGoran to uh, Niall Finnegan. Comes out to Sean Conlon. Oops, well, Daly wasn't quite expecting it. Gets a boot to it, Seamus Quinn. Here's a sub. And that's a very good point. A chance for Fergal O'Neill. And he took it well. Bad defending by Leitrim, it must be said. But Fergal O'Neill decided to pull in at first time and deflected over the bar. Georgie Dugdale picks up the loose ball once more. This is Pori Kenny. And he gives it straight away to Tomas Mannion. It's good work by Mickey Quinn. Fergal O'Neill. Back to Tomas Mannion. Survives both challenge as well. Ja Fallon kicks it into the space for Val Daly. And Seamus Quinn battles hard and well picked up by Val Daly. Still Val Daly. Back outside to Sean Conlon and between them and Fergal O'Neill, they messed it up. Cleared downfield by Declan Darcy. The loose ball falls nicely for Aidan Rooney. Corey Kenny. Barney comes out to meet him, but Corey keeps going. Still Kenny. With Sean DePuerre right beside him. And the ball must be hot. It's blatantly off the ground, by the way, but the referee now gives the free to Galway. And once more, another name goes into the referee's book. This time he's booking Barney Breen. This is the incident again. There's a, there's a touch on the ground before he actually picked it up. There's 12 minutes left in this Connacht Championship semi-final. Galway have the advantage by just one point. Mickey Quinn. Latching onto his Georgie Dugdale. Nice little bit of skill to Barney Breen. Sending it in low, Sean DePuerre is there. And Sean lashing it out into the sideline. Line ball for Leitrim. In fact, he obviously must have hit a Leitrim man once more, and the referee says that it is a Galway ball. Sean Conlon. Ball breaks free, Joey Honeyman to Jerry Flanagan. And the referee has given him the free. Jerry Flanagan taking it himself. And he gives it plenty of air. Barney Breen. This is, here's an opportunity. And a great save by the Galway captain and goalkeeper. That was a marvellous save from Liam Conlon. But Martin McNamara has kept Galway in the Connacht Championship. But really he's had nothing else to do. And they're always the difficult saves when you're not busy and then comes the chance and you've got to be there so well done Mark McNamara high challenge by Seamus Quinn definitely a booking offence and the referee is going to book the man from Gortletra Barney Breen made a marvellous catch ahead of Gary Fahey here and Liam Conlon and Martin McNamara, and it was McNamara with a point-blank, brilliant save. Moss Mannion there getting the loose ball, and Seamus Quinn coming in with a reckless challenge, and the referee had to book the number three. John Kilrain. Back to Pat Dunahill. Will John Kilrain get this? No, it's Barney Breen. Now they have a bit of space. Georgie Dugdale, Corey Kenny has gone inside. Dugdale goes it all alone and he gets the equaliser. After 29 minutes of play in the second half, Georgie Dugdale gets his third point of the match and it levels the sides once more.
And Georgie was right to go at a loss. He's a fine footballer. And at least he had the confidence to put it over the crossbar. John Kilrain, another man who's played solidly at right cornerback. Kevin Walsh is available. There's a lot of tension in Carrie and Shannon now. Up towards Seamus Quinn. Back there too is Joey Honeyman. Knocked away from Val Daly, Terry Flanagan. Down towards Corey Kenny. Is there one last charge left in Leitrim? Virgil Reynolds getting the free. Can Leitrim get a winner? Picked up beautifully by Liam Conlon. Back outside to Barney Breen, half blocked down. And there was a lucky block down because it looked as if it was going right on target. Deshaun the prayer. Can Galway get into the Connacht final? Far side of the field is Jack Fallon. This side, rather. If they can see him, he's still unmarked. Now he's marked. As Galway tried to open it up with Sean Conlon. Val Daly. Sending it high. There's two Galway players there, knocked away. Michael Donlan goes out to gather it. Joey Honeyman started behind him and got there ahead of him. But still Michael Donlan using his strength. To Conor McGoran from a very difficult angle. And Galway have got the point. Is that the winner? Conor McGoran from Salt Hill has scored a goal and a point. Both invaluable. And this time he shot it from a rather difficult angle and he put it over the bar. Galway on the verge of making up for last year's defeat. Referee gives a decision. I must say, it, you could call it a hometown decision, but it's a free for Leitrim, a very debatable free. Martin McNamara orders his backs into position. Declan Darcy, not for the winner this time, it's for to level the match. And he floats it over the bar. The sides are level. And another draw on the way for the championship. A decision which the referee, Sean McHale, I'm sure, will come under scrutiny for. But it has made a draw of this match. The referee now is looking at his watch. 38 minutes played in the second half. And I have a funny feeling the final whistle is about to go. Which means that everybody has to go through all of this again. The referee blows the whistle, Galway and Leitrim are level after over 70 minutes of action. Poor action, it must be said. No, no, but it ends, Galway one goal, six points, Leitrim nine points. Meathrew won the toss, playing as you see from right to left. And Bernard Flynn here.